So let's go ahead and do this example. Okay, so person on a hill that is, let's say, 10 meters tall. 10 meters tall. Trying to throw a trying to throw a ball over a stick that is five meters tall. Okay, trying to throw a stick, trying to throw over a stick that's five meters tall. If the ball that the guy throws just clears the stick, just clears the stick, and it's, let's say, five meters away. If it's five meters away and it just barely clears the stick, how far past the stick does it go and how long is it in the air total? Okay. Hey Merkhead, if you like what we do, go ahead and hit that follow and you can see me multiple times. Edwin from Wunchy back in, yeah, that's cool man. I've been, I've been having a lot of fun reconnecting with kids from Wunchy. 2016 that was the that was my very very last year it was very 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 last year there okay so we're gonna say that at five meters away the ball had just barely is just gonna be five meters off the ground okay so our delta y between here and here is five all right so our delta y1 let's say delta y1 is equal to five meters okay and our delta x1 is 5 meters too. Okay, so let's say how far, how how uh, how long has it fallen? Okay, to begin with. So delta y1 is equal to 1 half a delta t squared. Okay, and our initial fall, the one that we're most concerned with, is this original fall of 5 meters. So we have 5 meters down equals 1 half. 9.8 multiplied by however long that takes. Okay, however long that takes. So let's divide both sides by one half of 9.8. And we have our time squared is equal to 5 divided by 4.9 or 1.02 seconds squared. And if we square both sides, square root both sides, we have a time to the first stick, so let's say time one is equal to 1.01 seconds. That's how long it took for it to travel five meters. Okay, and so we can know our vx, our velocity in the x direction, is equal to. Okay, one second. Let's do it the other way. So our delta x is equal to our velocity x multiplied by our time. We know our delta x and we know our time so we can solve for our vx. So 5 meters equals vx multiplied by 1.01 seconds. And if we divide both sides by 1.01 our vx is equal to is equal to 4.95 meters per second. That's how hard the ball is thrown. That's how hard the ball is thrown from its perch at the very, very top. Okay, But we need to know how long it's actually going to be in the air. It's going to fall that 10 meters. So our delta y total, let's say, is equal to 1 half a delta t squared. Or 10 meters is equal to 1 half negative 9.8 multiplied by delta t squared. If we divide both sides by negative 9.8, 1 half, 1 half, negative 9.8, we end up with a delta t squared of 10 divided by 4.9, 2.04, and then if we square root both sides, we end up with a delta time of 
two nine, two nine seconds. That's how long the ball falls. Remember, and we actually calculated this in class. If you're in one of my L classes, that ten meters, a ten meter fall takes one point four two nine seconds. Okay, and using that now, we can calculate our total delta x. Our total delta x is equal to our vx multiplied by our total time, which is 4.95 meters per second multiplied by 1.429 seconds. Okay, or 7.072 meters. That one is kind of tough and is uh, a great deal like uh, being in between the the two L and the K. Let's uh let's take a closer look at Eddie, are you still there? Are you still there, Eddie? 